This is the Blackview A100 and this is almost a giveaway phone. It's a budget beast. Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Welcome and welcome back to Gadget Rev Now. If you have 150 to 200 and you're on a budget seeking for the best smartphone out there, what are your best options? The Samsung Galaxy A13 is one of the most budget-friendly phones this year, but it sucks in performance, slow Exynos processor, 3 gigs of RAM, and old eMMC storage. You also have the OnePlus Nord N100 that's laggy, an entry-level Snapdragon 460 with aging Android 10. Or the Nokia G20 again laggy performance because of the MediaTek Helo G35. So around that price, you wouldn't probably get anything usable for everyday use, including gaming, but have you ever heard of Blackview A100? It has a good performing chipset, a Sony sensor, a crisp LCD screen with punch hole design, and large 4680mAh battery. This blows the competition away. Today, Blackview sent us a smartphone, but as always, this will be an independent review of Gadget Rev now. So today, we'll unbox it and do a full review. Let's go! Let's start with the unboxing and if you like to purchase this phone, I will leave the link in the description below. So what to expect on this video, we will start with a quick unboxing, we will do a full review and also test the camera performance. Opening the box, we have the phone. There's a transparent case that's already installed and it says only for the brave. I think because they're known for their rugged phones. You have the SIM ejector tool and the manual. You have a typical USB-C to USB-A fast charging cable. And you have the 18 watts power adapter. And that's it for our quick unboxing. You have the phone, the case, the charger, the cable, the manual, and the SIM ejector tool. So in terms of everything you get from it, you have a charging block and the case that most manufacturers don't even offer now. Those accessories save you more than buying just a smartphone. If you factor the price of those accessories, you are now bringing down the price of the phone for around $120 to $130. Alright, that's everything we need to know about the package. Let's talk about the phone. Blackview A100 is the successor of the A90 smartphone. Blackview is known to manufacture rugged and niche type smartphones. A100 is the top of the line in their smartphone lineup, so even though it has a budget friendly price, they cannot throw every good things here as much as they can. I like the design of this phone, it looks really current with a square camera module at the back. The back cover is plastic, but you have the case to protect it from scratches. There's no mention of waterproofing, so don't soak this on water. On the side, you have the tactile volume button and also mounted is a fingerprint sensor. In front, you have the nice looking screen that looks really current too. And at the bottom, you have the microphone, charging port, and the loudspeaker. This phone comes in 6.67 inch full HD plus screen with 1080p resolution. This phone has a dot notch in the center of the screen, which serves as a home for the selfie camera. It has a slightly bigger forehead and chin, but on this price category, it's dismissible. I understand and I won't complain about it. Good thing about the forehead and chin is, it is symmetrical, also the bezels, so it doesn't look weird though if you're coming from something fancier than this. The screen goes up to 450 nits of max brightness. It's alright, it's a little bit difficult on sunny day, but it saves a little bit of battery too. One thing I love about the front screen of this phone is the availability of the notification LED. So even though it doesn't have always on display, it has the notification LED to notify you about a missed call or text message. In terms of performance on the inside, it runs on MediaTek Helio P70, an octa-core chip clock at 2.1 GHz. This phone has 6 gigs of RAM and pegged with 128 internal storage, which is expandable up to 256 gigs via SD card. In terms of performance, I can play Mobile Legend on high graphics. The Helio P70 is a mid-range chip, and you couple it with 6 gigs of RAM and throw the Mali G72, you have a decent performing gaming phone. Also, not to mention that the internal storage is running on a faster UFS 2.1 storage. It is running on Doc OS 2.0 based from Android 11. I would love to see the Android 12 on this phone. I think it is capable of the new OS, but then again, it was manufactured last year where the current OS that time is 11 or what we call the red velvet cake. The speaker is pretty decent though it's not stereo. Again, on this price point, I don't expect Dolby type audio here. But what I can tell you personally, the speaker is loud, it is down firing, and it actually performs really well, and I enjoy listening to it. Wow. 
wait, let me get my head straight. I need a drink of water. It's been days I've had a headache. Don't want to wake up one day, feel like I regret things. I want my story just to have a happy ending. It doesn't have an audio jack, but it uses the Type-C port with the use of dongle. It has a fingerprint sensor side-mounted, and it's pretty fast and reliable. With my test, it never failed to recognize my registered finger, maybe sometimes when it's sweating or dirty, but any phones will do that too. It also offers face unlock, but it's less secure than fingerprint sensor. This device supports dual SIM and it works with Canadian networks, and I think it's open worldwide. The phone is unlocked, and this is a perfect travel phone. It has dual 4G VOLTE enabled SIMs, it has a fast LTE connection, it doesn't have 5G, but most of us, LTE is okay. This smartphone is fueled by 4680mAh battery, and because of the dimmer screen and LTE connection, that makes the battery an easy 2-day phone. It's hard for me to kill this phone in a day, and again, if you're looking for a great travel phone with great battery life, this is a great phone in a budget. And lastly, we're saving the best for last, the camera. There are certainly great used camera phones under $200. Now you have Google Pixel 2, the LG G7, or even a Samsung S8. But again, all of them have capable cameras. In terms of performance and battery life, they will probably suck now. As for the camera department, this phone has triple camera setup, a 12 megapixel Sony IMX362. It's the same sensor used for Google Pixel 2, HTC U11 Plus, and Moto G5. Again, thinking about budget phones, Blackview is throwing every good things for $150. It also has an 8MP wide shooter and a 0.3MP depth sensor. While the selfie camera has 8MP housed in a punch hole. On a wallet environment, the images are bright and the colors are good. With its budget price, the camera performance is punching above its weight class. The photos are acceptable, again not the best, but for a casual shooter, Blackview A100 is perfect. The image quality you will get from this phone is not flagship grade, but the portrait shots are great and the night shots are just okay. Usable, but certainly not the best. It can shoot 1080p 30fps, a little shaky, but if you use a tripod or a smartphone gimbal, this will be a good full HD recorder. If you need to capture more, you have the ultra wide lens, but I think the main sensor has better quality, so just zoom in with your feet if you can, but if the space doesn't permit it, you have the ultra wide camera available. This is the video test and the audio test of the Blackview A100. This is 1080p 30fps using the rear camera. We're here outside near the road so you can hear all the background noise. Is the audio good on this phone? Let me know in the comment section below. So what is Gadget Rev now's verdict? Is this phone still worth it? This phone was released last year and after a year. There's nothing that can really beat this phone. Price to performance ratio. Blackview is a great brand established in 2013. They offer great products that values your money. With A100's good looking design, decent performance, the usable dual camera, and the great battery life, this is almost a giveaway phone. It's a budget beast. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to purchase this phone, I will leave the link in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.